Welcome to the Michigan Golfer Show. Join us each week as we explore the people, the places, and the events that shape our great game. The 106th Western Amateur is now concluded, and we're here at Point of Woods, which has hosted that tournament for 40 years. And with me is Dennis Mitchell, who's been with the tournament for the last dozen or so, including as chairman for a couple of them. And Dennis, I have never seen the course in better shape. What a great send-off. How does it feel to have been part of such a great tournament? Well, Ron Fox and his, and his staff did a, a great job. He always does every single year. And and yes, he had the golf course really dialed in this year. He really did. And you know, on, on behalf of Point of Woods, we've been very pleased to hold this tournament for 40 years. Um, nothing's forever, so we, we look forward to talking with him and possibly bringing it back. You just never know about these things. And uh, you know, it's it, we've seen some great golfers come through here. I mean, I sit back and think when I was probably 12 or 13 and seeing Curtis Strange and Andy Bean and Craig Stadler and just the names and go on and on and on. So it's been it's been really a good run. Well, let's talk about some more of those names. We have to mention Phil Mickelson, sure. Justin Leonard, and Tiger Woods. Tiger Woods was here uh, three years and made the Sweet 16 every year. So, and of course, won once. So, you know, he he did a great job when we knew he was going to go on to bigger and better things. But uh, yeah, it's been great with Phil Leonard. You know, it's it's just it's been it's been awesome. It really has. I think it was Tiger who said that uh, the Western Am was the masters of amateur golf. Now, I don't know if that'll apply once the tournament moves elsewhere, but one of the players was quoted in the local paper saying something, it's the most challenging and the most beautiful course he's ever played. And I imagine that's a pretty common sentiment, isn't it? Yes, it is. All the players have told us, you know, through the years, they just love coming here. You know, and some normally just wouldn't have played in this tournament because they got so much going on with the U.S. Amateur coming up, but they always want to come back to Point of Woods and the Robert Trent Jones design here. Yeah. And Eric Flores says he's come back three years. He was the runner-up today. He's come back for three years and it's always the best week of the year. And that's, that's a great uh, great compliment too, I think. Of the 106 Western Amateur Championship here at Point of Woods, semi, second semi-final match. First person up is Eric Flores. Oh, good. Yes, we're really pleased and, and everything the players have done and the housing and the volunteers and the staff. It's a big week. It really is. A lot, a lot goes on to put on the event and, you know, we're very blessed to have them. Well, it's been fun to watch in so much great golf over the years. <laughs> we certainly never saw a better golf than today. We have a pretty great champion. Let's talk about Danny Lee for a second. Yeah, Danny just did a remarkable job today. He just started, he came right after Eric, right out of the gate. And uh, had him, what, uh, four up, it seemed like, through nine. And, well, we thought it was going to be over with on 13 there for a while. But uh, Eric fought back really hard. He really did. He did, he did a great job. Champion of the 106th Western Amateur here at Point of Woods Golf and Country Club in Benton Harbor, Michigan. Danny Lee, congratulations. Thank you. And uh, you're also the medalist this year. Yeah, it's <laughs> great to be uh, winning two things in once. Yeah, it's so special. You tore up the course today. How did the course suit your game? You know, I really, I love this course. It's narrow fairways and firm greens, and quite a, not a short course. It's quite a long course. I think it really suits my game. Well, you were very accurate, so I imagine those narrow fairways were not a problem. Yeah, I was hitting it really well, and. I was really confident with my swing and I potted really well as well and that's what made me put it in this winning, end up winning this tournament. Well this is uh, the first tournament you've won in the U.S., is that right? Yeah, that's right. And it's uh, maybe one of the bigger ones? Yeah, this is the biggest tournament I ever won. <laughs> the biggest? Yeah, biggest. In, in New Zealand, you've won quite a few tournaments. You've traveled to the North Island and the South Island. Can you talk about a couple of the courses that you've played there? Um, no, those back in New Zealand tournaments and old conditions and golf course, it's so different. It's, uh, it's like 
weather is like really windy and yeah. it's f grass and those green stuff is everything's different mm -hmm. you know uh, I played really well in a couple of those tournaments and yeah have you had a chance to play Kidnapper's Cove by Tom Doak yes I have I played there a couple times and like five years ago I got invited for our high school because we won the best New Zealand high school championship and yeah we went to car eclipse and we had a fun that does sound like fun what a great reward for being a high school champion yeah it's <laughs> it was fun days yeah so of the matches that you played yesterday and today which one was the toughest I uh, you know I can't <laughs> say which one is the toughest for maybe match play you know you don't know what's gonna happen in match play you shoot like nine under and you can still lose by one or two you know I have to keep put pressure on myself and just keep trying don't make mistakes yeah we didn't see very many mistakes <laughs> yeah <laughs> which is good yeah. Danny Lee thank you for talking with us and c congratulations again for winning the Western Amateur Tournament here at Point of Woods Golf and Country Club Dennis, thank you very much for talking with us, and we look forward to see you at Point of Woods sometime in the future. Thank you on behalf of Great Lakes Sports, where you guys have done us a great job. So, appreciate that. Thank you, Dennis.